Okay, so here we have the um, knee cadaver uh, structures, and I have all of the annotations on. So you can see there's a lot of structures here. So actually, we're going to take them all away. We're going to do these one by one. So right now we're looking um, at uh, two knees, obviously left and right. This is a posterior view. So if we look at the first thing, I'm going to actually uh, here, this is the knee capsule. So if I rotate through, you can see that knee capsule basically um, covers the entire knee, obviously, uh, and so. Uh, if we can come all the way around, I'm actually going to start and come all the way back to where we began because we need that posterior palpation for our next couple. So let's remove the capsule. So we're going to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to remove that capsule. And now we have the posterior ligaments and the posterior structures. You can see there's a lot going on here. So this first one, we got the oblique popliteal ligament, which is coming across. You can see it's following that direction, just like in that popliteal fossa, this posterior area of the knee, that popliteal area. So you have that oblique. Uh, pop of two ligaments. We're going to get rid of that. And then right next to it, going the opposite direction, you have that wonderful arcuate uh, ligament, which is really holding up that what we call that posterior lateral corner. You can tell it's the posterior lateral because you got their fibular head right there. So that's your arcuate uh, ligament. So we're going to get rid of the arcuate. Now we're getting a little bit deeper into uh, some of the deeper structures. And if we're just looking right here, I'm actually going to take the femur. So you have your femur right there. I'm going to remove the femur. And you can see if we look down, we have our menisci. So we have our, our medial meniscus and our, when we get to our lateral meniscus, you can see the difference in the shape. So make sure you read your articles to appreciate the different shapes um, and why one is more C-shaped, one is more O-shaped. So as we come back through, now I got rid of the bone, the femur, but you can tell you have this ligament right here, and that's that posterior meniscal femoral. So you can see where it comes in from the meniscus it's actually going to come up, and you can see that's going to insert actually into that posterior femoral condyle. So if I bring the femur back for a half a second, you can see this ligament again. There's that posterior meniscal femoral coming to that posterior condyle coming off the meniscus. Um, and then what we have is we have sort of our, uh, I'm going to get rid of that ligament for a second here, get rid of it. And now we have, when we think about our knee ligaments, we have the classic. So we have that posterior cruciate ligament, uh, the cruciate because it crosses, so you can see how it starts uh, more lateral and it crosses over to the medial side. So there's the um, posterior cruciate ligament. I'm going to come all the way across here and I'm going to move our knee. Sorry for the delay here. Now I'm on the anterior side so you can visualize the patella. And we're going to get rid of the patella. We have our patellar tendon, get rid of that. We have a retinaculum, so there's our medial and our lateral retinaculum, which helps to stabilize the patella. We're going to get rid of those also. Um, and then from the anterior, we really palpated, we were able to palpate this tibial plateau. So we had the tibial plateau here and here, and then we had the condyles just underneath it. And I said, if you, if you put the knee at 90 degrees of flexion, you can actually palpate up in this area, you can actually get menisci. So there's our meniscus right there. So if we actually go, and again, I'm going to remove the femur. So if we look down, you can see there's the menisci right there. Um, and then we have this wonderful little ligament that's coming across that's actually connecting the anterior horns of your meniscus. You can see it from this angle and coming back down. That's our transverse ligament holding them all together. So um, there's our, obviously our anterior cruciate. I come this way, there's our posterior cruciate. So you can see how these two ligaments, uh, they get the name again, cruciate, because they are crossing, uh, basically starting from the, uh, the medial side and going lateral, whereas the posterior is starting from the lateral side and going medial. If we come back, I'm going to bring back our femur here. So I'm going to bring back Mr. Femur. Here he is. Thank you for coming back. Move that out of the way. And you can see on the medial side that wonderful collateral ligament coming from the tibial area up to the femoral condyle. And if we come over to the lateral side and spin it a little bit, we can see um, the fibular or the lateral collateral ligament again coming from the fibular head to the lateral femoral condyle. So there are a lot of structures right here on the fibular head, uh, muscles, tendon, nerves, etc. So it's a really, really major landmark. So if you don't feel comfortable with the fibular head, um, you should be definitely the type of question where I would ask, like, what structure touches the fibular head or doesn't touch the fibular head, etc. So it's that important. So please make sure you feel comfortable um, with the fibula. But that's most, most of the soft tissue at the knee joint. Um, and obviously we have our interosseous membrane uh, down here.